back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm doing a last minute Super Bowl snack. We decided that everything is going to be on the light version for us except for one dish because we have company coming that will be needing something a little less diet like. And so I'm going to make um, my version and this I've done buffalo chicken dip but this is a kicked up chicken sriracha dip and it's hot and it's delicious and I can still have it with celery and have it be low carb. And so we've got sriracha sauce, red pepper flakes, cayenne, a brick of full fat cream cheese. You could use reduced fat, but I don't think fat free would work. I've got a uh, pint of my home canned chicken. You could use regular canned chicken. This equates to about a pound of chicken. Um, it's cubed and it's in a red curry sauce. That's why the color is different. I've already opened it and um, so it's got a little taste to it as well. And you're gonna pour off that liquid. And we'll go ahead and throw this away. And I've got here, I found, um, this is a habanero and jalapeno cheddar. And it is irresistible. And then a sharp cheddar cheese as well. So we're gonna have the sharpness of the cheese, the creaminess of the cream cheese, and the chicken. It's gonna be fantastic. So what I did to begin with is I softened this cream cheese in the microwave. And it just takes a minute and it's nice and soft and we can work other ingredients into it. And so then I've cut the, um, the jalapeno and habanero cheddar up. We're gonna crumble that down in. You could grate it, but cutting it, it's gonna melt in the oven anyways. I've got my oven preheated to 425 degrees, and we're gonna reserve this shredded sharp cheddar for the top. And so, this is an idea, I mean, you don't have to make it exactly like this, but it's a quick idea. If you've got canned chicken, or you've got leftover rotisserie chicken, or you've got a couple chicken breast or thighs, you can poach off and do this pretty quickly. Um, and everyone loves it. There's never any of this left. So <laughs> just so you're one if you're wondering Okay, so now I'm going to so I'm gonna put a glove on just because I'm gonna crumble up that chicken As I take it out of the container because this was raw packed So what happens as it cooks in the pressure can or it kind of sticks together um, I'm getting ready to do another chicken canning video and I'm going to par cook it, I should say. So if you want me to show that, please leave a comment in the about section below. And, oh, that smells good. You can smell that red curry and it just smells fantastic. So I just take, you want some pieces, but not big chunks. So keeping my hands cleaner, just breaking it up. It's easier with your hands. So now that I've got the chicken all broke up, I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing that in with the cream cheese. And this makes a perfect nine inch pie plate full. And that's plenty for a crowd, honestly. Um, you can serve this with crackers for the people that are not on a low carb deal. So I'll have crackers out as well as um, celery and uh, it's good. Actually, it's good on cucumber. It's really So now that we've got the cheese and the chicken kind of mixed up, we're going to go ahead. We're going to add a dash of cayenne all over the top. It's like a little fairy sprinkled magic. <laughs> and the same with a uh, some red pepper flakes. Just a sprinkling over the top evenly. And then we're going to go ahead. And people, when you see that kind of stuff in in your meal <laughs> you know that it's hot that it's got some spice and then some sriracha down here oh that smells so good sriracha sauce is not overly hot it's just got this great flavor and i just give it a good coating and it's really a color and heat factor um i don't want it you know soupy by any means when this cheese melts it's going to be soft and uh so we just want a nice color on this. Maybe, oh, maybe that was a quarter of a cup for those of you that have to have measurements. But I just give it a good healthy squirt or two because I think I'm going to put some more on here. 
We're going to say a third of a cup. Oh, Angie and Dan, <laughs> you guys are probably loving this one. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. I've got a couple friends out there that love sriracha sauce. All right. Make sure you get all that cream cheese incorporated. And now we're ready to top it. So then I just kind of take my fork, spread it all out. And then I've got my, oh, maybe loosely a cup. Oh, there's some cheese of um, grated sharp cheddar. We're going to go ahead and just sprinkle that down over the top. Again, it's like the cheese fairy showed up. Woohoo! If there's one weakness I have, it's probably cheese and spicy food. If, if I ever couldn't have those things, I don't know. It'd be a bad day. Okay. So, we're not going to put more sriracha on there. But we are going to put another little fairy dusting of cayenne. And a little fairy dusting of pepper flakes which makes it pretty, but it also tells people that there's some heat in there. So let's put this in a 450 degree oven and I'll be right back with the finished product. So I've got this sizzling hot dip out of the oven and you're really gonna end up serving this at about room temperature. So it's delicious. We're gonna let it sit here for a few minutes and kind of settle down so I can take a taste test for you. But I have another twist and a surprise for you of another way you can serve this up. So we're going to serve it two ways. And I hope it inspires you to do the same for your Super Bowl party. Because this is something you can put together. Most people have almost every ingredient in their cabinet. Or they should have. <laughs> okay, so didn't that look fabulous? All sizzly and everything. And it's still really pretty hot. But I wanted to show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to, because I was thinking about the people that are coming and where we're gonna be watching the game and all that. And I figured I would have little plates of different things. It makes it a little easier to portion control if there's not a lot on the plate. You don't wanna take everything. If you have a big platter, people tend to overeat. And so that's my thought process. Not that I don't want everybody to have plenty to eat or to have a good time, but I'm gonna have little plates out like this. A little bit different theme, but um, and then I'm going to have ramekins that I can dish this up. And you want that top because that top, that cheese has kind of got crusty a little bit. You want that evident. Oh, so creamy. So we're going to put some in there. Yum. And that'll be for the celery. And I'll have a little spoon in there so as well. A spoon on the plates. So it's easier to get it onto the celery, which I'll show you in a second. And again, these little wonton wrappers, I bake these off. I sprayed the inside of this little mini muffin tin. And I bake them off. And this took 20 minutes. This took literally about mm, less than 10 minutes to brown these at 425. So they're crispy. Yes. And then you just want to take your spoon and go ahead and dip some of that in there. Now there's some serious flavor in that little cup, but totally in portion control because these little um, these little wonton wrappers, if you put a tablespoon of that in there, um, I would I would bet you're not even getting a tablespoon, but and then I can't wait to taste it. My mouth's been watering since I got this out of the oven. So each little plate, um, like we're expecting to have four people over, so I would put between everyone, I'd put um, six of these on the plate and six I've got celery, some celery sticks, sticks here. And what I my thought process was, and I did garnish this with a little bit of cilantro, just because it's pretty, it's green, and um, that, so when you see that in the picture, you'll know why. Put a spoonful of that on there, with a spoon and a little ramekin, and you're ready to go. Mmm. That cool celery really tones down the heat level. That is fantastic. I love the 
bite and kick of the sriracha. It's just got that wonderful flavor with the garlic background. This is delicious. I hope you guys get a chance to try this. And I'm going to grab a little napkin to set this on so I don't just eat and eat and eat and eat in front of you. And I'm going to grab one of these little wonton cups. Crispy on the outside and they got brown on the bottom. You can actually spray the inside of them if you want with some uh, cooking spray to brown them a little bit more on the inside, but I'm trying to save on calories. So this is my Super Bowl cup. Oh. Mm. Mm. Wow. I don't know which one I like better because this is a great little two or three bites. You kind of have to work for it. You also have to work for it with the celery and um, so satisfying. This is delicious and I don't need a big cracker, although I will have crackers out just in case people want those. Um, so guys, Absolutely I delicious. truly hope this inspires you to try you know, mixing your party dips and stuff up a little bit differently and maybe a different presentation along the way. And hopefully your team wins and we get to uh, have a great video coming up right behind this. I hope you stay along for that. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. It's free and you'll get notified if you set it for that every time I upload a video. And so I can't wait to see you next time. And I appreciate all of you very, very much. My subscribers rock. Come on, let's go do it.